Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, and in today's uh, old video we're going to check into the 29th of uh, June 2022nd and how the day is going to affect us, uh, what kind of uh, influence uh, the day is going to put on us in general and that is going to be today's uh, daily dose of tarot so uh if you are uh, interested in a personal reading with me you can always uh check out the description down below uh where you're gonna see a link to my website and there uh at, the, the, at that website you will also see a full list of my services their pricing as well so based on your budget and also your needs uh, you can go for whichever one suits you best so without further ado, let's uh, do the cut and uh, see what we got. And the first card for the day, uh, that happens to be the nine of uh, wands here, uh, followed by the second one, which stands as uh, that will be the emperor, like that. And uh, the final one, we do have uh, the seven of pentacles uh, itself. And the elemental dignity of these three cards stands exactly like this, okay? So that is the elemental dignity. For all of us who are single, uh, it seems that this is going to be a great day. Uh, it's going to be... The day is going to be great. That is because the incentive is to connect. Or rather like uh, the incentive is going to be that we are... Uh, that we can we are to show we have what it takes to make the connection happen the way we want the connection to happen because every every single one of us has a, a kind of like a, an idea for ideal relationship right for some is going to be a long lasting relationships others just want to you know have friends with benefits thirds wants to just you know try it out and so on and so forth so whatever idea it is out there that every single one of us have uh, and we are single uh the day is going to be great because like i said we are going to show in in front of those that we are catching their attention that we do have what it takes we can actually manage with all that we can juggle with it right we can juggle in between for example our work and putting what it takes into a commit relationship we can juggle in between friendship and friendship with benefits we can juggle in between you know having a lot of friends and simultaneously being able to put enough attention uh into a person of interest and so on and so forth here important thing into these interactions whatever the idea whatever idea you throw yourself as a relationship throughout the day itself is that uh, we got to present ourselves strong okay uh, every single one of us has a certain weakness but people doesn't need to know what that weakness is at least not at that point People doesn't need to know what we are afraid of. Nobody cares. Just as a nobody does care about a failures from our past. The worst thing we can do throughout this day, 29th of June, if we are to date someone, is to start speaking about a failure of a date we had recently. Like if someone ghosted us or if someone broke our heart. Our, our heart. They don't, they don't give a dime, right? They just want to have a future, some kind of a future, whatever those ideals are leading us uh, here toward. And uh, it's also very important throughout that they, should you happen to really date someone, is to set a boundaries, okay? That's... Uh, uh, that, that's adamant that we have to, uh, that we have to make because with these cards, it is important that whatever relationship we are establishing or we are continuing throughout the, the day itself, that relationship should not devour, and that, that is exactly the word here, it should not devour our life. Uh, we, we need to have our own personality in it, we need to have our own personal uh, experiences while simultaneously a uh, cumulative experiences are uh, moving forward and that is as far as relationships goes uh, aside from one last thing here uh, and, and that is for you guys who are uncertain is it really worth or not to keep on dating with that person well at least for that day we don't have the luxury to answer that we are committed into dating or talking with that woman or with that guy and it seems that throughout that day we just have to go along 
playing the game. We, we just have to indulge them, right? Other than that, on a mundane level, the day is going to be great to restructure in a sense of like reshifting our schedule, in a sense of like reshifting as well our routine, making those conscious changes that can be done into our career or into our a personal life that is for all of you guys who are in a, in a relationship currently, you, you do have a family, you can definitely um, rebalance uh, undertakings, uh, responsibilities and tasks as well, or even change your approach toward these responsibilities and tasks. And these changes are changes we can do. These are not changes sent to us from the universe itself. And by doing so, that will help us face the ups and downs of whatever the undertakings are bringing us and above everything else, the chores are bringing us uh, with, with, with much more bear. And uh, if if in a normal circumstances the day would have been very irritating and the day would have been very annoying so to speak we are gonna brush it off like it is pretty much nothing that is because through these readaptations that we are capable of doing and you may be wondering where those adaptations are coming from well they're coming from that nine of ones well many people or rather like many readers are saying that, that is when you are battered and that way it, and it is when you are down in the dumps fatigued tired <laughs> wounded right but look at the card right do you see any blood on the bandage not really i mean this could be with a very strain that could be a bandage just holding up you know your your hair while you are sweaty i mean the tennis uh, the tennis players are are using such bandages right to 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 keep up the sweat not falling into their eyes you just don't know why that bandage is there but what you know it is that you do have a lot of experience because you it's true you led the battle but you are wounded okay and you do have a lot of experience in now diving or or uh yeah diving deep into that experience you know better we all know better and with this knowledge, we can now make the things better in a different way, in a better way. And this is where these reshifts, readaptations, conscious changes are going to start happening within uh, within our behavior, you know, within our routine above everything else and within our approach of how we tackle with uh, with daily stuff, which, like I said, uh, is going to allow us to face the ups and downs of the day with much more bear, and not just only of the day, but of the nature of the undertakings with much more bear, and as well, what else is going to make is uh, to allow us to have some free time. And that's probably is going to be all about the reshifting of our schedule, right? We are going to be able to do it, to reshift the schedule in a such a way that we will be able to... <clears throat> put the necessary attention and efforts into the uh, into the chores and the responsibilities the tasks and simultaneously have some free time for ourselves one can say it, that this is a working this time around smart than rather than a working hard and again the only thing that really bothers me with these cards it is that we don't have the luxury to pull off uh with the premise that it isn't worth it at least for that particular day 29th of june 2022 we gotta play along even if we have that feeling that you know it's it's not exactly going to work out the way we want it we, we want it to work out but you never know these are minor arcana things can change in a snap of thy fingers so it's all up to you how you will make those conscious adaptations and changes. And so with that said, that was uh, our daily tarot guidance for 29th of June, 2022. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we are to see each other next time, hopefully. Until then, bye.